Hey Credit Warriors, Credit Shifu here and it is Valentine's Day tomorrow and it is also President's Day on Monday and this only means one thing, celebrations, both of your love for your significant other and also of George Washington's birthday on Monday. Well, yes, actually yes that, but also shopping. And apparently this President's Day weekend shopping sales will be so good that they're going to be even better than Black Friday, Cyber Monday, etc. So if you're looking for a new TV, for some clothes, for these Baby Yoda pajamas, this weekend is going to be epic for online shopping. And one of the things that we always mention when people are taking part in these kind of uh, sales and shopping events is to use online shopping portals to earn extra points and cashback in addition to what you're already earning on your credit card. So for example, if you use the Shop with Chase portal to earn extra Chase UR points, you can click on the President's Day tab and it takes you to a load of online stores where you can earn extra points just by clicking through from Chase to those stores. And these include Overstock.com, Sephora, Under Armour, even Sears, which I thought was on its last legs, is coughing up an extra half a bonus point for a total of one point per dollar this President's Day. But the website I really like for this kind of thing is Rakuten. No, not Rakuten. Rakuten. But Rakuten. I went all the way to Japan to find out how to pronounce that. But anyway, that's another story. So Rakuten, I feel, offers some of the best deals and you can also earn the rewards as Amex MR points instead of cashback. Yes, you heard that right. So if you do choose, to earn Amex MR points and you have to set it up like that. I have another video showing you how to set it up. I'll put it at the end of this video. But if you choose that, basically it converts at a one-to-one -one ratio to Amex MR points. So every cent you would have earned of cashback would become one Amex MR point. And you can get some incredible value that way. So what are they doing for President's Day? Well, loads of stores on Rakuten are offering a triple cashback with uh, rates up to about 15% in cashback, or that would be 15 MR points per dollar if you'd opted in for MR points. So let's take a look. Samsung is up to 10% cashback. When it says up to, it means different departments have different rates. So if you click into Samsung, you can see you can get 10% cashback for a mobile phone, pretty sweet deal, but just 2% for a TV. Now you may still be able to get an Amazon TV from another retailer and get a higher rate of cashback. So you could even search Samsung TV on Rakuten and you can look at all the TV retailers and you might be able to get a Samsung from there and get like five, six, seven, eight percent cashback. Then we have Overstock.com at a straight 10% site-wide. Forever 21 is at 15%. American Eagle, one of my favorite clothes stores, is at 6%. But then on Monday, there are going to be a load more stores that are doing a straight 10% cashback through Rakuten. And these include Saks Fifth Avenue, so this would be a great time to use the $50 Saks credit that you get every six months on the Amex Platinum uh, through Rakuten and then click through to the site. Sorry, I said it wrong. Rakuten. Anyway, uh, I'm certainly going to use my uh, $50 Saks credit from my Charles Schwab Amex Platinum on Monday through Rakuten. Just make sure you activate it through Amex first, okay? If you've never used it before, you do have to activate it on Amex's website. Then on Monday, you'll also have Bloomingdale's at 10% and it is tax season, so you've got H&R Block and TurboTax, both are doing 10% cashback on Monday. You guys feel free to go on and browse. I'm sure you'll find loads of stores, the ones that you're interested in. So it is an awesome way to earn some extra cashback or bonus points on those big holiday shopping kind of events. Um, if you are new to Rakuten and you want to sign up, you can use my link below. You actually get $20 in cashback as a bonus uh, for signing up and spending $20 through any of the retailers on their site. So uh, do check that out. Link for that is below. As for myself, perhaps I'll spend my $50 sax credit on this piece of glass that says relax. Or, I don't know, maybe these $65 Palm Angel socks. Guys, let me know below. Should I buy the relaxed piece of glass or the $65 socks? It'll be the most expensive pair of socks I've ever had. But let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. Please subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.